In this presentation, we will examine the process a DR plate uses to capture an image, send the data to a computer, and how the computer translates the data into an image. Before continuing, I assume that you are familiar with the inner workings of a Dell, know what a pixel is, and how to calculate the number of shades of gray that a pixel can display. If you are unfamiliar with any of these concepts, my channel has presentations covering these topics. Here we have a patient, an x-ray tube, and an x-ray table set up. Below the patient is a DR imaging plate. In the bottom left of the screen is a rectangle that represents how the final image will appear on a computer monitor. The ray beam passes through the patient, and a few seconds later the image of the PA skull appears on the screen. Black areas, like this uncollimated portion of the image, are represented by DELs that contain a large number of electrons and display as black. This white area is masked by a dental filling and its DELs contain very few or no stored electrons. The gray areas are represented by DELs that contain different numbers of electrons between the extremes of white and black. Let's now illustrate the scanning process for a DR plate. To facilitate this explanation, I will use a simplified version of a DR imaging plate. For this example, the plate is comprised of detector elements, or DELs for short, and this plate will display one pixel per DEL. Furthermore, the scanning plate will measure nine DELs across and nine DELs down, for a total of 81 DELs on the plate. My plate reserves one bit of memory for each DEL to store data. One memory location can either be a 1 or a 0, so ultimately pixels will either be black or white. We would need a minimum of two bits per DEL to begin to display any shades of gray. DELs exposed to a given threshold of radiation will have a proportional number of electrons stored in their capacitors. DELs exceeding the threshold of radiation, when read by the analog to digital converter, will have a 1 stored in their memory location. DELs exposed to radiation below the threshold will be assigned a 0 by the A to D converter, and a 0 will be stored in the pixel memory location for that DEL. In a computer, since one bit is reserved to store image information, the computer only needs to use one memory location to display the image. This means that a pixel memory location storing a 1 will be displayed as black, and if a pixel contains a 0, it will be displayed as white. Here is my DR plate. The horizontal lines represent signal lines, and there are nine of them. When a signal line is activated, it unlocks the DEL to be read. The vertical lines are data lines, and when the data line is activated, the electrons stored in the unlocked DELs flow to the analog to digital converter and are translated to ones or zeros. For this demonstration, when a DEL is read, the analog to digital numbers will be displayed below the data lines. The numbers will then be transferred to the computer's memory at the top, at the top of the screen. Let's activate the first signal line in preparation to read the first row of DELs. Watch carefully. The reading of the row will happen quickly. Keep in mind, an actual plate has millions of DELs, and the reading of the plate operation actually happens in just a fraction of a second. The row is scanned, the electrons are converted to numbers, and the numbers are sent to the computer's memory. If you miss seeing the first row being read, let's move to row two and repeat the process. The second signal line is at and the DELs are unlocked. Again, the row is scanned and read, and the results 
stored in the computer's memory. Let's now scan the remaining Dells storing the results in memory. Presently, all the plate's data for this view is stored in memory. It is now time to display the image. The first step is to copy the data from the computer's memory into the screen memory. Screen memory corresponds to a rectangular array of pixels shown as the computer's display. Instead of displaying numbers, screen memory displays the numbers as black or white, or shades of gray. In the case of my demonstration, the ones are displayed as black and the zeros displayed as white. Here is the final image as displayed on the computer screen. It appears to be a PA skull. To summarize this process, radiation strikes the DEL and causes an electron flow within the DEL proportional to the amount of radiation striking it. The DEL stores these electrons in a capacitor awaiting to be read by the plate's electronics. Each of the DELs are read and scanned and the electronic signal is converted into digital numbers. The digital numbers are sent to the computer and stored in memory. Finally, the numbers are copied to screen memory and displayed as an image. These operations are happen as part of the imaging plate itself. The analog to digital converter may be part of the plate, but doesn't have to be. It may be a separate device. I suspect that in case of a wireless DR plate, the analog to digital converter is built into the plate itself. Processing, storage, and display of the image is the purview of the computer. Eventually, the image is sent to a PAC system for long-term storage. Currently, laptop computers have enough storage and processing power to meet the needs of a DR imaging system. Thank you for your kind attention. This has been Presentation Digital Radiography Part 2.